Virgo, welcome. This is your zodiac read. Whenever this message finds you, these are timeless. I'm doing this in January 2023. But you can resonate with this at any time. How are you guys, Virgo? All right, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for your beautiful, wonderful comments, as always. Thank you all for your donations. Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you for your, you know, your New Year's uh, wishes and holiday wishes. Thank you. Please hit that like button for me, Virgo. Subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification bell for those who want to know when my readings come out. Let's see what we got going on for you, Virgo. What's going on? Ooh, I'm hearing hands off. He belongs to me. Hands off. He's my private property. Hands off. I tell you just one more time. Oh, that was that movie with Jim Carrey back in the days. So you, somebody's an energy vampire here. Mm -hmm. And they're saying hands off. He's my private property. Hey, now. One's bitten. That's the movie. Okay, I would take a look at that. Somebody feels you are a rival. Or they're your rival. Okay? They're an energy vampire. Something going on. So they don't want you to have their man. That means they're losing grip or have lost grip. And now they want to... They're going to try to fight for this person. Hmm. Okay, Virgo. And that just came out of nowhere, so let's see what's going on. Uh-huh. Sixth Chakra, Archangel Metatron. Yeah, you know who this is. Your third eye is on fleek here. You see things clearly, okay? And you see right through whoever this person is, okay? Number 40 could be significant. You've been through the void. You've gotten irreversible insight here. You know, once you wake up, you can't go back to sleep. Okay? You're in a stable, grounded um, frame of mind and energy here. Alright, call on Archangel Metatron, okay, in order to hone in on your intuition for those of you who aren't awake. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Acceptance. Alright. You're accepting a situation for what it is, I feel here. And, you know, letting it run its course or going with the flow of things. Also, if we're talking about this person that's watching you, Virgo, and uh, there's another person trying to stake their claim on this person, <laughs> they see through the bullshit, okay? Alright, let's see what else here. The Lost Star Rebirth. Yeah. Out of the darkness and into the light. So some of you, you know, you were lost before, not anymore. You went through a rebirth. Others of you, this is the person that you're connecting to on a spiritual level. Okay, you can see through that person, karmic's bullshit or whatever this is. And uh, you know that it's just a matter of time before this person wakes up. And that's what I'm seeing right now. Okay, 14 can be significant. Another four here. Um, but this is all about following your intuition into this new beginning, this newfound sense of self, and being more stable and grounded with your own energy. Some of your star seats, okay, it will be in leadership positions, or you're here to help guide others into their own light, their own star power. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, guys, I, I do have some allergies, so... Um, bear with me. I might be able. To, I might have to pause from time to time because I do get into a little bit of a coughing fit here. Let's see what else we got here. Virgo strategy. Okay, so somebody's coming up with a strategy, so perhaps they don't have to bring you any drama here. Okay, or if you're the person that was dealing with some crazy karmic here that's trying to stake their claim on you, you're coming up with a strategy here. Number 21, adding up to three because uh, you want to attract better here. You want to attract somebody. It says journal. Somebody you could be writing on a journal. 
okay? Listening to your intuition here and being guided in the right direction. Um, you know, you're acquiring more balance and you're honing in on your intuition. You're unlocking things. You see a key here? Unlocking something. Something about journaling or writing here. You know, you could be wanting to manifest the right things. I also see the compass. True north. Yeah, so somebody's heading in the right direction. Okay, they're just coming up with a strategy to get from point A to point B and taking it from there. Okay, okay. Let's see what else we got here. Loyalty. Being loyalty to them, loyal to themselves, to the path, or you. Accepting what's ahead. 15 could be significant, but this is all about changes, Virgo. And adding up to 6, it's all about a spiritual journey, heading into calmer waters, but definitely... You know, it hasn't been easy, right? But there's a lot of uh, knowledge to acquire, a lot of lessons to be learned, and a lot of uh, power, okay? Personal power to be had here. So this is good, all right? And the Enchanter dream. I wish upon a star and my dreams come true. Number 21. Okay, another three here. And 4 minus 1 is 3. So 3, 3, 3 very important here. The Enchanter. So I feel like you've been enchanting this person through the dream state as well because there's a connection, a deeper meaning, a deeper connection here. I wish upon a star and my dreams come true. So this is a wish fulfillment. But somebody had to find their own power as well lost star they were following the wrong star and now we're going true north hey okay nice all right let's see what else Virgo so I'm using the light seer I mean I don't know why I always say light seers the light workers tarot it's the only one I read in reverse so let's see what's going on here Manifesting punishment. Ooh, the magician in reverse. Okay, so somebody here manifested punishment, but they see through the, uh, the smoke and mirrors now. All right. Emotionally incomplete. Ten of cups in reverse. Ouch. So somebody's accepting that they manifested someone that was not meant for them, even though they thought it was. So this could be you, um, you know, hands off this is my private property it could be two men you know or two women so take it how it resonates um you know fighting over the same person not fighting over but one one is in a i claim this whoever was with somebody here that they manifested punishment it was a lesson basically and now you know that you're awakened you're aware you accept it for what it is and now it's time to like kind of heal, move on, and out of the darkness and into the light. Okay. Ten of Wands. Yeah, it was a heavy burden, heavy cycle. Okay. The good thing is we, we know now. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Five of Coins. Hard misfortune. Wow. So when this person either came into your life or this person, things just went south. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. Full of empty promises. Wow, Nine of Cups in reverse. But the past is behind you guys. Okay, whatever this is behind you. Yeah, somebody was lost in the past with the Six of Cups. You know. And they needed to reassess priorities. Two of Coins. So this is when somebody was... They had um, two things they were considering... And whatever was considered here was the wrong thing. It was heavy burden. But hey, that's a lesson learned. Yeah, chaotic force with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Oof. 
So somebody here was kind of controlling, forceful, and just kind of... Yeah, here we go. King of Pentacles. Secure abundance. So I feel like somebody kind of forced themselves in your life here. King of Pentacles, male or female, is Virgo energy as well. Or you can also be dealing with a Taurus or Capricorn. But yeah, somebody was juggling, um, you know, a choice, a decision, and, you know, it could have been, it could have went either way, and they chose this way, and that's what happened, okay? And now... Yeah, somebody was resisting an ending here, and there was a reckless imbalance, temperance in reverse, overbearingly goal-oriented, so that tells me somebody was in their ego as well, okay? But now, they're approaching this Queen of Cups energy, okay? So you could be approaching a Queen of Cups energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, intuitive compassion, or this is an energy that you embody, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, and accelerating quickly eight of wands okay so now that somebody sees something and their own behavior for what it is it's like now we can move forward we know that we're we were a lost star and we're coming out of this dark pit or rabbit hole that we've been in for some time um because things were just falling apart okay again take it how it resonates here okay guys um, let's see. Let's see what else we got here. <coughs> One more shuffle. It's getting dark in here. Hold on one second. Fortune teller, psychic gifts, unexpected news, intuition, eternal force, future, <coughs> excuse me, oh, my throat is just killing me, the unknown fate, and seeking answers. So somebody here could have gotten, um, you could have gotten tarot readings in order to understand what was going on in the situation you were in, you were this person. Number 40, twice. Both of you could have been mirroring each other as well. Some of you could be fortune tellers, tarot readers, um, in tune with your spiritual gifts. That's only for some of you. We have high honor, promotion, a raise, success, award, recognition, fame, achievement, high society, positive public opinion. Okay, number 25 adding up to 7. Wow, my throat is really killing me. Might have to pause for a second. Family room. Private family matters. Comfortable matters. Kept secret. Matters kept secret. Inner soul. Intimacy. Private discussion. Retreat. Number 21 adding up to 3. I feel like you were this person we're getting... Somebody here was getting tower readings to, to further understand what was going on in their situation here. And also possibly with you as well or this other person that you're connecting to. Because I feel like somebody was, they, they weren't honing in on their intuition. They misguided and mis, they just chose wrong and clearly. But it, they were meant to go through that regardless there's never any mistakes i don't believe in coincidences so um whatever this connection is that's coming together you know somebody here went through a lot they went through mishap misfortune heavy burdens okay hold on a second all right virgo i'm back okay <clears throat> I had to take an allergy pill because I'm it's getting worse here. All right. So I feel like this person is getting back to 
who they were. You were this person. Um, returning back to self. Who they were before this whole connection took place. Because I got that movie, Once Bitten. Jim Carrey in that movie, you know, he was a good, wholesome person. He had this girl in high school that he really liked. And um, they were dating. And then all of a sudden, he was out with his friends one night. And he met that vampire seductress, right? Older woman. Um... And it doesn't have to be about older women, but, you know, somebody that was very sexy and alluring and attractive. And uh, she basically lured him in because she was a vampire and wanted to turn him into a vampire, which she eventually did. So what I'm getting here is that this person kind of lost touch with who they were and they started becoming someone else due to the connection that they were in. And, you know, in their ego... You know, in the movie, he was, like, dressing, you know, with leather jackets, slick back hair. You know, it, it just, and it doesn't have to be that that's how they were dressing. It's the persona. All of a sudden, you know, they, they could have been at the beginning. Things could have looked like they were going to be successful. It was like living in under smoke and mirrors, basically. Right? Being more toxic, acting different you know, not really acting themselves anymore. It's almost like they, they were transformed by this person into who they wanted them to be, and maybe they did it as a form of pleasing them, or, you know, feeling like they belong, or, or whatever this was. <clears throat> and now somebody's seeing here that, you know, it takes a lot to put up that facade, okay? When you're not being even emotionally... Um, satisfied in that situation and it's like manifesting punishment for yourself it's like how long could be can we be this lost star following the wrong path you know going south instead of north here and I feel like somebody started getting into tower reading and really understanding more about the choices they were making and the types of connections that they were in and this led to some sort of awakening here okay so whether you're the Virgo King of Pentacles and this is true for you or this is someone you're connecting to that you're cross-watching for or whatever this is this is for Sun Moon Rising Venus or Jupiter placements that's what I'm seeing here and they want to be in held in high honor again um, I feel like for some of you this could be starsey chosen one type of energy and somebody really had to find their way again because they're meant to lead okay bottom of the deck here we have change yeah okay things were meant to change this was temporary it was here for a season and a reason okay change or movement in your life new direction relocation progress change of view job partner or heart okay and I feel like everything changes once you walk away from someone that is creating such a burden and it feels like punishment being with them everything changes so that's what's transpiring here and even if you're in connection to this person the energy this person brings into your life or you bring into this person changes essentially their whole world as well so we have to keep that in mind also you know Let's see what else here. Let's use the Marchetti Tarot for my Virgos. The Hermit. Yeah, there you go. Going within. That's your energy, Virgo. Going within to understand what the hell we, we got ourselves into here. Asking the questions, okay? Learning, you know, watching tarot readings here to get answers as well. Some of you could have gotten personal readings or, you know, you could be watching YouTube uh, videos. This would be one, right? 
Okay, getting the answers you seek. Nine of Pentacles. So clearly we let this go, right? So now we're being held in high honor. Now it's when the, now that we have accepted all of this, right? Acceptance. Now is where the real transition comes in. This is beautiful because once we let all of this go, this is where things start falling into place. And mentally, physically, emotionally, and, you know, once we go through this period of darkness, dark night of the soul energy, purging, crying, healing, understanding, then we're in this energy of, okay, now I'm feeling confident, I know what direction to go in, and feeling better about the choices I make every step of the way here, okay? Yeah, and having victory and success versus manifesting punishment and, and heavy burdens, okay? So we could be talking to family about certain things here that we have found out or have figured out and, you know, our next moves in, in a positive direction here. Yeah, we could have dealt with someone that was either young or immature here. Some of you are heading into the path of creation, you know, being more involved with your creative side and, you know, yeah, heading into something entirely new. Okay, a, a love connection here. Ten of Cups, that is both creative and beautiful. But some of you could have thought in the past that this was it. Okay, and it was a page. We can't build a family dynamic with a page. Okay, but that's what we thought in the past. Six of Cups. And it was all smoke and mirrors. Seven of Cups, illusions. Okay, yeah, we ended up very wounded in that situation, nine of wands, licking our wounds, maybe perhaps even playing the victim. Yeah, and there was a, that, that was the other choice somebody was juggling. So you could have been juggling another choice and you chose the smoke and mirrors, but that usually happens. Yeah, there's the choice. So this is somebody, whether this is you or this person, returning back to Somebody didn't listen to their intuition. That's why. For whatever reason that is. So now we're returning back to what we originally were thinking about. And understanding that that was the gift. Back then. But we never went for it. And if it's not you making this choice, it could have been somebody you're connected to. That they, they didn't even understand the connection at the time. Um, it doesn't have to be someone you already, like, been with or gotten even to know. It could just be somebody was watching you and they were watching this other person and this other person walked into their life and they made the choice to just go for it because they truly saw the Ten of Cups with this person. That person was either younger or they were too immature. Whether this was you or this other person. And somebody did not listen to their intuition. So that's where the tarot started coming in, the transformation started coming in, the lessons started coming in, you know, the, and now we see, right? So somebody, yeah, yeah. And sometimes your heart will steer you wrong. King of Cups with the Seven of Swords. That happens. We thought we were with somebody here that embodied an empress, and it was all a lie. It was all a dream. So somebody lied about being a, maybe a feminine here, a divine feminine. It was smoke and mirrors. Yeah, I had somebody worried. Maybe three months into the connection, they were like, uh, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. And they were still, yep. Look. So there were red flags. It was smoke and mirrors. It was the devil. So this king of pentacles fell for... A wannabe empress. It was the devil in disguise. Okay? The devil in a dress. Yeah, ooh. Queen of Wands with the devil. There it is. I told you there was an energy vampire here. Hands off. He belongs to me. Hands off. He's my private property. Hands off. I'll tell you just one more time. 
and <laughs> the world full circle so somebody has finally come full circle <clears throat> and understands exactly who they were dealing with wow this person tried to embody a divine feminine they had them fooled they did I don't know how they came in but they came in passionately attractively they came in with a plan and they lured this person in and they were a page they were nowhere near an empress they were a page wow all right let's see what else we got here damn Virgo all right it happens it happens one more shuffle every day I'm shuffling and shuffling alright let's see what else we got for my Virgos yeah coming into your power a newfound sense of self understanding seeing the hermit definitely that's you guys okay now if it resonates the other way around you know take it out resonates but that's that's what I'm getting here okay yeah no longer bound release letting go we're no longer in the situation we accepted the fact that we were wrong and the situation was not for us there you go point of no return decisions and crossroads with the ten of wands we took the questionable path okay not the path not the path of faith and transformation but now we're faced with the crossroads again and we will be victorious this time with the chariot all right we have cancer virgo energy here and the devil yes also that queen of wands energy um <clears throat> Leo Sagittarius Aries I don't, I don't know why I pause like that sometimes um, I was gonna say something else what else was there yeah Capricorn Taurus King of Cups Scorpio Pisces Cancer okay so we have a warlock here that's a male witch okay energy manipulation uses ones to one's benefit invoke and conjure this person here has control issues they're possessive and obsessive okay so you can have somebody uh, looking at you or this with lust temptation okay distraction here yeah because you're a true gem so whoever is the feminine here the or the Empress here a true gem high vibration enlightened and magnetic the true empress okay so I'm getting something about uh, this is another energy that just popped in so this could be on somebody else's side the feminine okay because we had the king of Pentacles energy here Virgo energy and now we have a whole nother energy here with a warlock and somebody controlling and obsessive okay this person's all about lust temptation and you know they're obsessed with you because you are a true gem high vibration enlightened and magnetic so you could be mirroring somebody in in situations that you dealt with okay but you you're taking the middle road you're patient <clears throat> and everything in moderation so somebody here has done a lot of self-work we have shapeshifter spiritual mediumship encounter observer and realm so some of you definitely are spiritual mediums okay and you um, you see things through your dreams here some of you are definitely divinators okay tarot readers unsolved mysteries and clues some of you could have watched tarot also so you're marrying whoever this connection is coming in some of you also watch tarot in order to get information on someone here or this person that you're connecting to was also in a similar type of situation is what I'm getting 
And that was a dark karmic soul tie. Eww. Dark Cupid. Okay. Wow. So, I, what I'm getting here is two people that are successfully coming together and meeting at this crossroads after tough lesson. You guys are both warriors. Reliable, loyal, trustworthy, and protective. Awakened here. Third eye on fleek here. There's endings. Breakups and new chapters coming together here. And we have rescuer. Grateful and thankful. Somebody here could have been the muse for you and inspiration for you or vice versa or for each other. There's people peeping and creeping. And giving the evil eye here. But there is oneness, stillness, and soundness being established within both of you. And the synergy energy, right? More than just the simple sum of its parts. It's a frequency. It's a vibration. It's an energy that's coming together here. First, within thyself. And then, after, within this union. And self-control self is definitely a must here. Having the strength to be bold and to not fear your enemy. <coughs> and to stand strong in these setting boundaries, being balanced and empowered between your light and dark. <coughs> so... For both of you, do not fall for these lies, these apologies, these, oh, I'm so regretful for the choices and shit that I made and what I did in the past. No. You're being asked to be bold and to have the strength to have self-control and to set those boundaries because there are new chapters. We're moving forward and new connections are abroad. Okay, you're forced to be reckoned with. Rise to the challenge. You are being protected and protect yourselves. Because whoever's coming here in this new cycle, okay, if you're the king of pentacles, you are sage, sound, judgment, sensible, wise beyond your years. Both of you could be. New cycle, moving, entertaining, excuse me, entering new phase. Don't look back. You're almost there, the key. Crossing the threshold in order to manifest your heaven on earth. The true Ten of Cups. Don't allow these incubus succubus energies to pull you, guide you in other directions. Uncontrolled sexuality, emotional and spiritual darkness. And boy, am I having a hard time with my voice speaking this right now. <coughs> I know that I have allergies, but when I started talking about this right here. <coughs> holy shit. I said I was going to say it anyway. Wow. If this ain't spiritual warfare, I don't know what is. You guys definitely have people trying to pre um, prevent some type of union here. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Wow. My goodness. Let's see what else we got here for my Virgos. I'm using the Are They a Trick or Treat deck. This one was my Dimensions Oracle deck. Link is in the description box below the video. One more shuffle. Oh, and I got a cough again. Woo-wee. 34, 34. <clears throat> On the clock. My goodness. Uh, you guys are the last sign I'm doing today because my throat just can't handle it anymore. My goodness. All right. So we have left out. This person will trigger abandonment issues within you by excluding you and leaving you out in the cold. Okay. Hold on. All right. 
right. Whew. So this is what could have drove you guys to, you know, get readings. You were dealing with somebody that triggered abandonment issues, meaning this this is somebody that was meant to reflect something back in order to heal it. Okay. And we have lust. Yeah, they are being sexually motivated to come towards you. Lust is acting as their driving force. Okay. So I feel like this karmic is uh, still trying to come after you in a lustful way to keep you bound, but you're letting it go. And we have ride or die. They will ride or die for you and would die for you. If you need support, they got you. If anyone gets in your way, they got it. Okay? And I feel like that could be the discussion that's happening now with the family. Moving forward and going on in this new path. With success. Victory. Okay? So this is somebody that would have your back and vice versa. Um, bottom of the deck, we have longing. They won't be as available to you as you'd like and in turn you will find yourself missing them and having a deep yearning within your heart for the for the connection this could have been what was happening within this situation you could have been a ride or die person for this person you know you had their back but this person clearly was just taking 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 and lust was the driving force in the connection here also is what i'm seeing all right Let's see what else. We'll use Dawn of a New Day, Uncharted Waters Oracle. This is one of my decks. It'll be below the video in the description box. The link. All right. Let's see what else. Excuse me. My throat can't handle much more here, so I'm gonna go through this a little quickly. Oof. I'm trying to protect you. I don't want to bring you any drama. Okay, you could be trying to protect someone or take it how it resonates. Someone's trying to protect you because they're dealing with someone dramatic. Okay, but this person or you are coming into your own. And there is no telling what I might do when I see you. Okay, somebody could be feeling quite passionate also. Um, you know, if lust is the driving force to come to this new person, I would definitely, you know not be expecting sex right away so be careful with that energy okay or somebody's coming to you in a lustful way even though that you guys are meant to be together they could just be feeling your energy passionately okay because it says I there's no there's no telling what I might do when I see you meaning this person has a lot of passion for you a lot of chemistry or that's what you're feeling towards someone here especially after getting out of this mess Okay, I will come to you when I feel I am the person you deserve. So there you go. Yeah, and this person with the chariot will be coming to you. They're taking this path of faith. And there are somebody, they are someone that would have your back. Or you are this person to someone here. And you're not going to them till you feel they're the person, that you are the person they deserve. Okay, so you're not allowing the lust to kind of take over you like you did with this other situation. Um, if you're the king of pentacles here. Good for you. I looked through your social media profile. Okay. So you could be watching your counterpart that you feel a connection to. Or this is them watching you. I have desired a kiss from those lips for far too long. Yeah, there it is. Mm-hmm. Somebody's feeling it. Or you're feeling it for someone. I know we would have a blast together. Yeah. I do see that here. I see a good connection coming together. But boy, did you guys both dealt with um, some energies there. Yeah. I hate that we are apart. Okay. And I have a hunger that no one can fulfill but you. Definitely. There is a uh, an anticipated passion here between the two of you. The separation, this separation feels like a lifetime. I'm taking time to heal and letting go of things that no longer serve me. Yeah. With, you know, I'm not coming to you till I'm the person you deserve. And I'm so fed up, fed up with the karmic's drama. Yeah. A lot of drama there. 
All right. All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you guys. Let me know in the comments if anyone resonates. And uh, I wish you guys the best, and I'll talk to you later. Go take care of this throat. <laughs> 40-20 on the clock, all right? All right, guys. Peace. Bye.